everyone, this is Eileen from Northern Light Tarot. So this is your pick a card, month ahead, looking into all aspects of your life. This can be your love life, uh, your life in general, your relationships, okay? And it's for the month of September 2021. So for the reading, all you need to do is choose between set of cards number one here, set of cards number two here, and set of cards number three. So I'll just give you a moment to do that now. Okay, so I'm gonna place aside set of cards number two and set of cards number three. So I can go ahead now with this a set of cards number one. And as I say, it's looking into all areas of your life, okay? Past influences, the present, and you know what's truly going to be happening um you know in september 2021 with guidance and prediction so let's go ahead now so let's place aside our clarifying cards and get these cards placed down i do just want to quickly mention if you'd ever like a highly personalized video recorded reading with me all of the details are in that description box below. You can book via Etsy or PayPal. And I offer a reading with a turnaround time of within 24 hours, seven days a week. So having said that, let's go ahead now. So let's place these cards down also. So uh, let's go ahead. So right at the center of the reading, what do we have? We have... Ooh, the Nine of Pentacles. Okay, so the Nine of Pentacles is literally the card of abundance, okay? Um, this could be, you know, just in these terms, uh, this could be, a, a, could be actually quite transformative, okay? This is the card of uh, feeling confident, of achieving your goals and knowing that you can achieve them. Um, feeling confident, okay? Um, now, we have the death energy here. So like I say, there is transformation here for you uh, happening in the month of September. But let's look at these cards that surround now. So in the past position, we have the high priestess. Hidden is the devil. Um, and the external energy, the six of pentacles. So what I'm getting here is there, there is some major transformation. Okay. Now, Sometimes, like just a big message that's coming through here is it's almost like you found the hidden key or you're about to find the hidden key to kind of unlock a part of you that you you may not even have felt you were aware of, okay? Um, there's something here about also about you having to, and you're going to, trust your gut and trust your instincts, okay? Because there's something here about having to um, detach from what no longer serves you, okay, with this devil in, in this hidden energy, and it's all coming right up from your soul, from your core, um, you have actually deep psychic insights here, you know that there's, there's either a situation, or a person, or, or a, a relationship that has not served you well, I feel like there's almost like this breaking free energy here for you, okay, with this six of pentacles from what is what hasn't served you, okay? How much have you given to somebody or a situation here? Because I feel like it was an awful lot, okay? And there is this break free energy. I want to take three cards for this past position. Let's take a look. Okay, let's have a look. So we have the King of Swords. This is about being right at the height of that intuitive energy, really, okay, with this High Priestess. It's about trusting your gut. It's about kind of like getting all your ducks in a row. It's about, um, there is an energy here of being less emotional right now. And it's it's kind of like, it's that time. You kind of know it, okay? Um, 
Wheel of Fortune and the Lovers. So what I'm getting here is you, there's somebody here, there's somebody from your past that hasn't given enough. You're letting them go now because deep down, it's kind of like there is this energy that you know how significant this connection is. But you can't do any more of the work. You know it's got to come from them. There is this destiny between you and another person. I do feel that, but, but, for many of you, there is this release. It's kind of like you're letting go in the full knowledge that this person is coming back towards you. Now, on another level, it's about letting go now, this is not to do with the person. This is to do with the situation. There's something here about being less emotional about a situation that hasn't served you. This could even be a job, okay? And releasing it and going forwards to your true destiny, okay? Um, let's continue. Five of Pentacles. So what I'm getting here, actually, okay, is somebody is missing you in September. Somebody is missing the support that you gave. Somebody is missing all of your efforts. Okay? And now, I do know that this, that there, is, there is a shift here and there is an energy that at times you could look back. Okay? But the Nine of Pentacles is so much stronger than the Five. Okay? Um, let's continue. The person that didn't give enough is going to be missing you like crazy in September. Okay? You're looking back, but you're also releasing. Let's take a card for this Five of Pentacles. And what I'm... Yeah. There's that person. Okay? It's kind of like you're giving out your dose of you have to give out your dose of reality to, to somebody or a situation here that hasn't served you okay because you are so strong here you're the nine of pentacles it's kind of like the shoes now on the other foot the person that you put all of that effort into you've now released and now that they're, they're kind of like oh my goodness where where are they where are they okay you give you are you're giving it up to the universe okay Th this person's coming back towards you okay ten of cups you're in another direction right now though ten of pentacles yeah so, what I'm getting here is September, highly transformative in every way. Somebody from the past is coming back towards you. Then the choice is going to be yours because I actually see you very focused on your coins, on your stability, on your independence. And they're going to have to work hard for you. Okay? Um, seven of Wands here. So, this is about you literally overcoming anything that has been standing in your way, okay? Do know that. Um, you're fighting here. You're, you're fighting for the real deal, the Ace of Cups, yeah? You're not taking anything or anybody, no situation, no person that isn't for you and has your back, okay? Uh, let's take a look at this outcome card. Yeah, pure manifestation here for you. Month of September. It's time for you to concentrate on yourself. Somebody's coming back. Okay. Let's take these cards now. Wishing. And. Chemistry. Mmm. Do you know? There's... I see someone else around you here as well. Oh my goodness. 
You could be leave, truly leaving the past behind and embracing the new. And we have the card of universe. The universe will show me the right path to take to reach my goal. Okay. So, what I want to do is just take three more cards for overall clarity, guidance and prediction. The person from the past is missing you like crazy. Okay. But you gave them all the chances. Okay. I feel like they're wishing for you. There could be chemistry here with somebody else. And just o overall, just a very transformative month. Okay. Let's take a look. Four of Cups. Ace of Pentacles. Someone's coming back. Wants a brand new start. They're missing you like crazy here. Okay. You're on a new journey. The choice is going to be yours. Okay. It's very powerful. Very powerful. You're giving somebody what the dose of reality. Okay. This, this person or this situation that didn't serve you. That... They just didn't give enough. Or this situation didn't give enough. And now, you've got this brand new opportunity here. It's in love. But it's also in another another area of your life. So, there we go. That's what's come through for you if you chose set of cards number one. I'm going to now move on to set of cards number two. If you found the reading helpful, I'd be so grateful for that thumbs up. If you subscribe, you'll catch my next reading. So let's go ahead now with set of cards number two. Give these a little shuffle. Ooh. Ten swords. Interesting. Okay. Okay, so moving on now to this a set of cards, and number two for the month of uh, September 2021, the month ahead, love and life and everything, okay? So, covering all areas. So, let's get these cards placed down. I do just want to quickly mention, if you'd ever like a personal reading with me, all the details are in that description box below. You can book via Etsy, PayPal. Um, I also do offer a reading with a turnaround time of within 24 hours, seven days a week. And all the details are in that description box below. So right now, let's get these clarifying cards placed down. And let's go ahead. So, mental clarity. Okay, this is right at the core of your reading this is about it's about coming out of conflict and reaching clarity okay um and there's something here about a new opportunity new beginning okay this is something about it can be about taking a chance as well there's some because the, the page of pentacles can be quite a shy energy and there's something here about feeling the fear and doing it anyway Okay, that's kind of like, that. it feels like that's your motto for September, okay, which is really positive actually, okay, because, you know, we, we look back and we don't regret the things that we didn't try, sorry, we, we did try, we regret the things we didn't try, okay, um, so I'm just getting for you in September, it's time to go for it, okay, um, so three of swords here, and the moon here and the external energy the four of pentacles yeah so i feel like th there's like this trapped energy with you okay i feel like something or somebody from the past has kind of disillusioned disillusioned you confused you made you kind of like a uh, question 
things, okay? Um, and I feel for a lot of you, you know, you've had your heart broken here and I'm so, so sorry. Um, the universe wants you right now to move forward, okay? Um, let's take cards for all these three, actually. Um, now, there's something here about being concerned about whether you're going to be able to get that job or um, succeed, like, kind of, like, financially and security-wise. The universe wants you to go for it, okay? So that's on that level. You need to know that. Um, feel the fear and do it anyway. Now, these three cards, I feel, are more for, you know, for if there's been, and I do see it, you know, there's been a heartbreak here. Someone's really confused you and let you down um the chariot so this is about reclaiming your heart okay you need to go reclaim your heart the chariot energy um sitting over that three of swords the king of pentacles so someone promised you the world and didn't deliver it's time to reclaim your heart right now okay um Oh, the four of pentacles twice, okay? It's time to close a person down here, or a situation, or a fear, or a worry about where you are going in life, okay? You, you, you've got it all going on here. It, like, you can achieve whatever it is you want to achieve. Now, this is in matters of the heart, like releasing and overcoming. And it's also about kind of like finances and um, confidence, okay? Um, let's take a look. Yeah, justice. Justice. Wonderful. So this is about being in balance, okay? And this is about knowing that you des... What, what is it that you know that you deserve that was not given to you, okay? Okay? Because it's time to go for that. Um, walk away from a person who just served you injustice after injustice after injustice. Same goes with any sort, any relationship, whether it's a love relationship or not. Okay? Somebody has, I feel like somebody's truly de destabilized you or a situation has. Um, and now it's all about your clarity of mind. And strongly going forwards, being the chariot, being the, the the leader of your life, okay? Nobody can make you feel this awful moon energy and this heartbreak energy. They don't deserve your tears, okay? They don't. You matter. You matter so much. Um, the moon, there it is. The six of pentacles, the six of cups is somebody here from the past. And you're, you're serving them some justice this month, okay? Because you're getting clarity. Um, there's balance being restored here for you. And if you've, you know, because there's two sides to this, there's the heartbreak energy and there's also this um, energy of taking a chance as regards career, okay? Or raising your confidence somehow, knowing that you're worth it, knowing that you can achieve, you can literally achieve your ambition. Because um, I feel like that for some of you, you've been disillusioned in the past, something that you wanted to happen didn't, and now you're you could be too scared to try it again. You need to try it again. This time it's gonna work, okay? This time it's gonna work. Um, new journeys. Take that leap of faith. We've got it twice now here with this page of pentacles, ace of swords, and the fool. It's time to take that leap of faith. Because in the future, if you look back. You'll go, oh, I should have done that. I should have done it. You've got to do it. 
Um, yeah, you're stronger than you know you are. Whatever it is, whatever your situation right now, and there will be thousands of different situations, you've got the strength to succeed, okay? Uh, let's take a look. Two of Swords. I feel like you're literally teetering on the edge of kind of like going into this hermit mode and saying, okay, no, I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it next week. I'll do it next month. Um, now's not the right time. I shouldn't try this. Um, but deep down, you know, now is the time. Okay. St what I'm getting for you, is it's decision time. And it is time to let something or somebody it's kind of like, it is, it's all about feeling the fear. People get so worried about the tower energy, but it's, the tower energy is actually, I feel, really quite a positive energy. Because what I'm getting here is kind of like how you're feeling. It's been dragging you down, okay? And you know you can't stay in that energy any longer, but you know that to feel any different is gonna involve taking a risk because it means you're taking steps, okay? Away from something that might be kind of like drawing, lowering your energy, but there's sort of some comfort in the fact that at least you know how that feels, okay? So it's about, and it's also about knowing, because with the tower, it's kind of like, you knew that this day was coming. You knew that things had to shift, okay? And what, what all it is with the tower is that it, things are going to shift unexpectedly. It doesn't mean that it's bad, okay? It just means things are going to shift in an unexpected way. And I feel, though, what I'm getting here is that it's, it's more... The shift is coming internally from you, okay? And you surprise yourself in a really good way, okay? That's what I'm getting. So that's putting a big smile on my face because that's actually really, really positive. So let's now take a look at these cards. We have the card of ambition. I'm ambitious and do not procrastinate or waste time being negative. And that's kind of like, can't we all do that? We all, at times, we sit there and we look at all the reasons why we shouldn't try something, why it wouldn't work. Um, and we talk ourselves out of it. The universe wants you to feel the fear and just do it, okay? That's the big message here. And it's about, it's something about release, clarity, movement forwards, and the, somebody coming back around here also, bear that in mind. Um, oh, we've got strength twice. I love it. You're stronger than you know. Okay. Um, and we have, you deserve love. You are lovable. So this is kind of like, it's you focused on what you deserve going forwards in the future. Now, this is the card of love and in, in love regards. But it's all, ultimately, it's, all, it's about your self-love. And it's about your eye being on the prize of what you deserve. Okay. So that's what I'm getting for you for September. Um, I really hope that you found the reading helpful. If you did, um, I'd be so grateful for that thumbs up. And if you subscribe, you'll catch my next reading. So right now, I'm going to move on to set of cards number three. These a little shuffle. Okay. So moving on now, two set of cards number three, your month ahead. 
um, September 2021, love and life and everything, okay? Um, so, let's get these cards placed out. So, before I get started, I just want to quickly mention, if you'd ever like a personal reading with me, all of the details to book are in that description box below. You can book via Etsy or PayPal. I also do offer a reading with a turnaround time of within 24 hours, seven days a week. So, let's go ahead now. Let's place these oracle cards down also. Okay, so right at the center of the reading, what do we have here? We have the Queen of Cups, your crossing card, the Two of Pentacles, the past position, the Six of Wands. Okay, so what I'm getting here is, um, I do feel that the first message I got was something has destabilized you, some body. It, I kind of like get the energy something was going well, okay? Um, or you expected it to go well. This can be to do with a person or a situation. And then I kind of feel that things destabilized, okay? Something's made you deeply emotional here and there's a feeling, you, it's kind of like you need a big hug, okay? You need, you do, you need a big hug and you need to be understood. You need to be um, nurtured. And I feel, I feel like you do a lot. I just get the energy, you do a lot, okay? You do a lot. And there's something here about you needing to be kind of like more, more appreciated. That, that's what I'm getting, okay? But let's continue. Um, now, let's take some more cards for this past position. I feel like, as well, there's this energy you've been striving and striving for a certain outcome, okay? Um, but the, there's something about some unhealed energy from the past for you, okay? It's kind of like you may keep revisiting the past, um regarding uh, it could well be like a, a person or a time when things just felt easier okay something about yeah wanting the success putting the work in but then things are just getting really frustrating and um, the sun energy with the tower yeah something destabilized you here something that was supposed to be so successful whether it be a person a situation it kind of like i feel I, I do feel your trauma i'm so sorry um now what's really important is let's let's continue okay eight of wands in the hidden six of cups in the external the hanged man here okay there's something here about you having to write a list, okay? Get a piece of paper out and write at the top priorities. Then write number one. And the first thing on the list should be myself, okay? And that's really, really important. Because I feel like this scattered energy, like you've been so supportive of other people and so helpful and always been there, okay? And what I'm getting here is right now, it's it's got to be about you, okay? And I'm getting you need to develop an attitude, okay? Because I feel like somebody or a situation or a person they've kind of like stepped all over you all over your heart okay or, or just all over you and i don't like this energy and i'm so sorry if this is resonating in fact i hope that it isn't okay and if it is i'm so sorry um what we what we're getting here is the need for you to come back into 
an incredible balance, okay, for yourself. Um, let's continue. I want to take some more cards. I almost get you've sacrificed enough already, okay? You have. And there's somebody or a situation here that has really, really hurt you, but you keep giving the benefit of the doubt. You're, you, forgive, you keep forgiving somebody who keeps trampling all over your heart. Let's take some cards here. Yeah, Nine of Swords, Page of Swords. Yeah, this is about you saying, okay, that's enough now. I've had enough. Anybody who keeps me awake at night and makes me question everything. And yeah, there's, there's, someone, there's an antagonistic person here in your past that you should step away from completely, okay? I'm getting that. Um, there's somebody here from your past and it, history will repeat, okay? So, but I think you, you, you're going to be realising this in September, okay? And then they're going to be the one who's crying instead. They'll be crying. And what I see going forwards for you is comfort. Because the hanged man is very comfortable, even in a difficult situation, okay? Very adaptable. Let's take a couple of cards here. Yeah, seven of wands and the full new journey. They're, they're looking at you now, okay? Let's continue. Page of Wands. There's a lot you want to say about what happened in the past. I, I sense it, okay? Um, somebody really did let you down here. There's no doubt about it. Knight of Pentacles. Oh, and there's that Five of Swords. I don't like the Five of Swords. Okay, whatever happened in the past, you got away from it. You did the right thing, okay? Somebody here could truly have, yeah, totally played with your heart. Let's continue. Calling in your soulmate. So, I have to say, there's two distinct scenarios coming through here. You're releasing the past to allow in your true soulmate, okay? Or, there's somebody here who now realizes your significance, okay? Now that you've said enough is enough is enough, okay? Um, yeah, there's only, you see, there's only one of you. That's what they now know, okay? And it is time to develop an attitude and stand up for yourself, okay? Attitude. It says, I attract success and positivity Sorry, I'm positive people into my life with my positive attitude. So, it's about you truly understanding your worth, your value, your individuality, your beauty inside and out. And stepping away at this point. 
I want to take three cards for overall clarity, guidance, and prediction. Somebody's coming back to battle for you. Okay. And I do see the deep connection between you two. I do. I do. These two fives. But I just thought they should have treated you better. Okay. Devil. Seven of Swords. And the Moon. Yeah, they should have treated you better. They're going to realize that. Okay. The Devil with the Seven of Swords and the Moon. Now, this can be a person. This can be a situation. Okay. But what I'm getting here is um, deep nurturing, looking after yourself, prioritizing yourself in the month of September. It's so important. Um, and aggressively pursuing your goals with this Page of Wands. And yeah, totally standing up for yourself. Okay? Totally standing up for yourself. Um, and not letting, not letting opportunities pass you by. And cutting the cords with anybody or any situation which is not clear, distinct, open and honest. Okay? It's actually, you know, I can't sugarcoat it. It looks to be uh, a like kind of difficult month in some ways. But I'm just sensing this um, energy where you're, you're overcoming sort of so many so many difficult energies here and ultimately th there's something quite profound here with this soulmate energy okay so there we go uh, i'll leave the reading there i really hope that you found it helpful um if you did i'd be so grateful for that thumbs up uh, and if you subscribe uh, you'll catch my next reading have that attitude, okay? Value yourself. That's what I'm getting here. So I'll leave the reading there and I really hope that you found it helpful. Okay then, bye.